The member from Dakota, Representative Hansen. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I was wondering if it ever get to be my turn. Uh, listening to this whole debate, uh, Representative Wagenius, there's there's so much to respond to. It's we don't have we don't have time. I mean, we doom and gloom, and the world's going to end. And oh, what is the cost when your well runs dry? What's the cost when you can't dig deeper? No water. What happens to the businesses when the well one runs dry? You can't manage what you can't measure. What are we doing? We're paying for new monitoring wells. Guess what, Representative Anderson P? You forgot to mention in the fees about irrigators that the state is going to pick up the cost of those monitoring wells. That's going to cost a little more than the fees. They won't have to do the monitoring wells anymore. The state's going to pick up that cost as a service, as a service to, me to measure the water levels because you can't manage what you can't measure. Now, yes, we have hundreds of wells or thousands of wells, but you know what? Every well that's drawing water, we have new wells drilled every day drawing more water, and guess what? We think, as Minnesotans, with 10,000 lakes, that we're always going to have water. And there's some areas of the state where it's going to be very hard to find water. And when it's very hard to find water, it's very hard to expand your business, it's very hard to build the homes, it's very hard to grow your communities. Oh, let's go to surface water. Oh, it's a cost. Cost for surface water to keep it clean non-point pollution. We have to spend the money to keep it clean. We have to have incentives. We have to do cost share. We have to do education. We have to pay people to do the right thing. A public cost to keep it clean. So what are we doing? We're fixing the mess that's been created year after year. Environmental fund will pay for that. And I'm talking about the environmental fund that's paid for by the solid waste tax. Well, let's use the environmental fund to pay for that. Or let's use the legacy fund. Or let's use the general fund. Aquatic plant management fees are user fees. The water fees are user fees. The mining fees are user fees. Do we like paying them? No. We don't like paying them. Do we like increasing them? No. But you can't manage what you don't measure. And we have to measure because there's going to be some tough decisions. Now, we can say they're not going to happen. We can say, well, we'll just, we'll just wait. There'll be another day. There'll be another day where everything will be okay. It's going to snow and it's going to rain. And look at the weather's raining today, so therefore we don't have to worry about water. But we are going to have to worry about water. We have more people. People use more water. We have a growing economy. We use more water. As human beings, we have to have water, and we have to have clean water, and there's a cost for that. And for too long, we've been shifting the money around, trying to use this pot or that pot or anything that's available to pay that money. And now we have to pay. We don't like doing it. This bill does have some reform in it, permitting reform. The whole silica sand provision in here, which you've said nothing about. We provide a technical assistance team, Representative Fabian, rather than having immediate regulation, rather than having a GIS, rather than spending more public money, what do we do? We're having a technical assistance team, which the amendment that we voted on use existing staff to help out those local governments who are here up at the Capitol saying we need help. We need help because we're dealing with water. We're dealing with resources. We need help that we don't have right now. So that is reform. Now, are we calling it reform? No, we're calling it problem solving. Let's solve the problem. Let's try to solve problems effectively and efficiently and try new approaches. And there is reform in here. Whether we put a headline on it, whether we label it reform, I don't care. I don't care if we call it reform. 
I care if we solve problems. And to solve those problems, you have to measure. You have to measure the baseline. You have to measure your progress. You have to measure your outcomes. You have to measure your results. And based on those measurements, you adapt and you change. You make changes, you make decisions. You may drop fees, you may increase fees, you may locate, and you may manage your water. And Minnesotans are going to have to manage our water, and we haven't thought of that before. We haven't thought because we've thought we have 10,000 lakes. There's water everywhere. We can do better, and this is doing better. In this bill, we haven't said anything about the Board of Water and Soil Resources. What do we do? We eliminate, over time, one immediately and one over time, boards, and we take the money that the general taxpayers have paid for those boards and put it into projects on the ground. That's reform. Are we calling this reform? Do we have to put reform on the table? No. We have to put problem solving on the table. Those are the outcomes that we're going to be measured by. You can't manage what you can't measure. That's what the water fees go for. That's what the water fees go for is measuring. Every Minnesotan is going to have to pay for water, which we haven't thought about before. But the cost of contamination, the cost of running dry, the cost of dry wells, the cost of moving, moving a business because you've run out of water, those are huge costs. And by managing our water, we can prevent those extensive costs down the future for businesses, residents, agriculture, industry, recreation, tourism, all mining, all the things that Minnesota is known for besides water, the land of 10,000 lakes.